Hey crafters, in this video we'll go over three essential tips to style your documents like a pro in craft. Number one is setting your default style for your documents. So once you have your document open or an existing doc, you'll navigate to the right sidebar style paintbrush tab. You'll find all of your settings here to create your custom style for your documents. You can also navigate to our style gallery and navigate through our pre-created designs that you can set as a default. But once you have a custom design already created, I have several here, you'll navigate to the three dot menu button. Once you save the style and name it, you'll be able to set it as a default. So when I create a new document, it'll automatically present itself in this style that I've set as a default. Similarly, on iOS, you can also set your default style. Simply create a new document or open an existing one, select the paintbrush icon and the styles tile. From there, you can long press on your style and set it as a default style. Once you've done so, any new document you open will open in the designated style you set. The second essential tip is to customize your subpages. Now, essentially, we have our yoga style right now for our main page. But if we want to create a different style for our subpage, you'll have to click into your subpage, navigate back to the paintbrush icon. You can customize any of the settings here, or you can select a completely different style. So let's go with Hawaii. So now my subpage has this beautiful tropical style, while my main document still has this yoga style that we've set. On your iOS, similarly, you'll have to create a subpage. Just as before, you'll navigate into the subpage, you'll select the paintbrush icon, click on the styles tile. From here, you can select any of your custom styles or our pre-made styles within our style gallery to set it for your subpage. And finally, our third essential tip for styling is to customize your washi tapes. Just as before, you'll navigate to the paintbrush icon. Further down, we'll have our separators available. You can select the washi tape icon and the pattern. You can select one of the suggested ones. You'll also have solid colors and patterns available here, or you can navigate through our washi tape gallery. But if you're like me and you want to set a specific style for your washi tape to match your document style, you can upload a JPEG or a PNG file. So if I select upload and navigate to my image, you'll see the washi tape populated there. And simply all I have to do is go to the insert tab, drop in a separator, and there is my custom washi tape. Similarly, on your iOS device, you'll select the paintbrush icon and select the separator tile. From there, you can click on the washi tape icon and select the pattern. You'll have the same options that was shown on your Mac OS where you can upload your own image. You may have to allow permissions for it to access your photo library, but once you do, you can select the image and upload it to craft as your custom washi tape. And there you have it. Those are the three essential tips for styling that can be done on both the Mac OS and your iOS device. And as always, happy crafting.